Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings, I'm Veronica Me. Thank you very much for watching this video because today I will be trying to create a beautiful cat's eye. So if there are any cat lovers out there, this video will be perfect for you. And even though you like dogs more or any kind of animal, hopefully this video will be inspirational for you as well. Are you a cat or dog person? Let me know in the comment below. I'm more a cat person, but of course any kind of animal is beautiful. And at the beginning I would like to describe how I mix my colors and what kind of materials I use. If you already know this, you can skip to the creative part, but I always like to use how I mix my colors because lots of people always ask how I do that. So for my base color, I'll be using this pale deep brown mica color which has got beautiful shine inside and then i'll be using this bronze gold yellow ochre and deep yellow so these four colors will be perfect perfect for my cat's eye i will put the link down in the description box to these colors if you'll be interested let's move these and i'm going to show you how i mix the base color which is exactly same mix as these colors so i put a little bit of my acrylic color on the bottom of my cup like that so here's my cup just on the bottom of my cup I won't need too too much colors in this case and then I cover it with my pouring medium like this so it's all covered I would say it's like 40% of colors and 60% of pouring medium pouring pouring medium I hope I'm saying it right so I'm using this kind of pouring medium it's ready-made pouring medium and um, you have to mix this with a little bit of water it doesn't create cells this pouring medium but it creates the beautiful consistency for my fluid art that's why I'm using this one today now I'm going to mix it up very well it's better this little bit more fluid but still I need to add a few drops of water to make it even more fluid so there was like I don't know five drops ten drops of water not too much just a little bit to make it more fluid perfect now it looks like the right consistency if you can see that and Look at the shine inside of this deep brown color. Yep, that's perfect. That's the perfect consistency. So I can start with my cat's eye pour. So the first thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this cotton canvas, which is size 20 centimeters. I've got these pins on the other side. And I'm going to cover it with this dark brown color. Perfect, looks like everything is covered. So now I can start pouring my colors. I'm gonna start with this yellow, well, yellowish color and pour these circles. Then this ochre color. my bronze color and some gold oops there was too much never mind that's okay now I've got this wooden stick and I'm just gonna create these patterns here And also like this. Beautiful. It looks like some kind of cake. Delicious chocolate cake. Let's move that in the middle. And now I've got my uh, paper tissue and I'm going to put it on. 
gently push it and take these two corners and also this and this perfect perfect let's move it in the middle a little bit and yes that will be i know it doesn't look that interesting but i promise i create a beautiful shiny eye out of this pour now i need to let this dry very well so i'm gonna wait at least at least four or five days till this gets dry and then I show you what to do next. And meanwhile, I wanted to show you my sister's cats. They are called Coco and Cappuccino and they are so cute. They've got such a beautiful eyes. This is my Coco and this is my friend. So after a few days, my eye is dry and I love the beautiful shine which is inside of this. Now it's time to turn this into beautiful cat's eye. And for that, I'm gonna start with this deep petal brown and a little bit of black and make shade around this round canvas. And I'm just gonna shade this. I put my brush in water. I'm using this big brush size 18 and just make a nice dark shade around this edge. I might use a different brush this this one for blending. Now I'm gonna start working on the details. For the beginning I will start with the middle part and for that I'm gonna use my uh, acrylic marker with this fine tip and I'm just gonna decide where my middle part will be. Yep, like that. Sorry about these lines. I wasn't able to paint it or draw it for the first time. It doesn't matter because I will fill this with black acrylic color with this one, which I used for shading. I'm gonna mix white with a little bit of gold and create another little details on my eye. For that I'm going to use this tiny brush and just create these lines here and there. Let's start here. It's just lines which goes from the, the middle part and then I'm just going to blend it like this won't be too visible but it creates that, that details which which just makes this eye pop So I'm creating this smooth edge because I don't want this edge to be too sharp and it adds that 3D effect into my eye. I 
I'm blending it with a bigger brush and then I add these little tiny lines And let's paint some darker parts here. So I'm going to mix this deep brown with a little bit of black. And paint these darker parts here and there. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. can help yourself with finger as well. And these are just the little details with my Artistro marker. Just to make that eye look more interesting. And last step is painting a reflection on my eye and for that I'm just gonna use my paint marker but of course you can paint this with acrylic colors or whatever you like using. So let's paint uh, like a little reflection here. And maybe one here as well. And this is the result of my cat's eye acrylic pour. As you can see, you can create so many interesting patterns with your fluid art. A few weeks ago, I created this human eye and now I put my cat's eye and you can create dog's eye or any other eye which you like. So I hope this tutorial was inspirational for you and if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel, Me Paintings and see many more interesting tutorials. Thank you very much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you again. Bye!